Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest one of all? Well, if you read the online forums, you might say it's the Grand Seiko SBGA 211 Snowflake, a watch with a brand defining face that's proved you don't need an iconic case to cut a rut in the world of luxury watches. But is its beauty more than skin deep? This is the collector's take. The story of this Otaku Datejust stretches all the way back to 1971, when a prototype created by Seiko featured a lovely white rusticated and ridged dial. Jump forward a few years to 1977, and under Yoshikazu Akahane, Seiko begins research into spring drive technology. 2005, and the first spring drive automatic winder launches. Half a decade later, in 2010, the star of the show arrives. We get the first version, SBGA 011, of a watch that is officially nicknamed Snowflake by the artisans at the Shinshu Watch Studio who designed it. Now, in 2017, it gained a Grand Seiko blaze and dial, but for the most part, it's the same handsome and lovable watch that's been around for the better part of a decade. Technically part of the Heritage Collection, it's not a retro watch. You won't find the vintage case design of the 3180, or for that matter, the 44GS or the 62GS here. This is a forward-looking, Heritage-inspired watch. Let's start from the middle and work our way out. This brass kicks ass. And that is exactly how the snowflake dial starts. A brass blank that is then stamped with 200 tons of force and a handcrafted die designed specifically for this dial. Depending on your accounting, it takes somewhere between 8 and 80 steps to create this dial. Though, I believe if you trust the 80 step advisory, you probably also believe it takes a year to make a Rolex. Blue steel, and I don't mean Zoolander. Take a look at that seconds hand. Grand Seiko makes them the hard way, firing them in a kiln, not chemically dyeing them. Also worth noting, the quality of this dial. Those hands, Dauphine at center for the hours and the minutes, could shave your beard. Take a look at the indices, crafted the same way, cut on micrometric diamond-tipped tools by artisans who only make these things all day long. They put Rolex and Switzerland on notice that the best dials in the world are made by Grand Seiko in Japan. Take a quick look at the power reserve indicator. It's endemic to all of these 9R65 spring drives, but I like it. Like Cindy Crawford's Mole or the BMW Hofmeister Kink, it's difficult to resolve at first, a little bit dissident, imperfect and beautiful for it. Take a quick look at the case, bright, polished, a mirror shine, and all of it achieved manually, inside and out, this is a handmade watch. The Zaratsu finish, as they call it, is done on a tin plate European made Zalitz machine, but the foremost practitioners are the folks in Japan. A mirrored shine is created by an artisan who holds the surface to be milled directly against a spinning tin plate. This takes approximately three years to teach and master, and it is not undertaken lightly. 41 millimeters in grade 5 titanium, the watch is broad and wearable, a timepiece that him or her might find equally attractive. This is a watch that is attractive front and back, as you will find a lovely integrated end link titanium bracelet, single deployant folding clasp, and then the case back. And while the 9R65 movement isn't physically beautiful, it is interesting to see how this watch operates because it is so different from the traditional Swiss lever. The spring drive technology, which took the better part of 30 years to come to market, uses a spring, no batteries, no capacitors, no stepper motors, to drive its hands and its drivetrain. The mechanical energy from the spring drives a unidirectional governing wheel that creates an induced electrical current to wake up a quartz oscillator. That quartz oscillator then uses an electromagnetic force to slow down or speed up the governing wheel, which is connected directly to the gearing for the hands. That's how this mechanically driven watch manages to keep quartz level time to plus or minus 15 seconds a month. Take a quick look at the box set. Simple, unadorned. Outer box, inner box, a handsome combination of leather wrapping and a polyurethane cloth internally. Take note, a polishing cloth, but not any cloth, it's in the shape of a mitt. We have a warranty booklet, three years by the way, and an encyclopedic operating manual that will teach you everything you ever wanted to know about spring drive technology. Who it fits and how? Well, I've already said it's for him or for her, but specifically 14 centimeter circumference wrists. It helps to have a wrist that's a little bit more oval than round if you're at the lower end of the scale, but the fact that the watch is entirely what they call high intensity titanium means it wears light, wieldy, and hypoallergenic on the wrist. 
Who should consider this watch? Nomos fans. You're already comfortable buying a non-Swiss luxury watch, reasonable, traditional, and some might say even contemporary, 36 to 42 millimeter sizes, and then of course, mid-market luxury money. If you're already on board with Nomos, Grand Seiko awaits. Contrarians, do you drive a Saab? Do you have a functional Betamax in your house? Are you an adherent of the traditional BlackBerry physical keyboard? Well, your ship has come in, and it's Grand Seiko Maru. Engineering enthusiasts. No, I don't mean actual technical professionals working by MRIs or particle accelerators. No, people who are fans of cars, aviation, mechanical watches, engineering super fans, perhaps I should say. This watch, in all its spring drive glory, is for you. Alternatives to consider. Well, within the Grand Seiko catalog, start with the legendary Skyflake. Launched in 2019, the SBGA 407 gives you a slightly smaller case, stainless steel for greater durability, a traditional strap, a vintage-inspired buckle, and a warmer blue-toned snowflake dial. Are you the type to switch your Acura NSX badging to Honda? The next watch, the Divido Deep Blue Urushi Silver Maki E from Minase, is for the guy who wants a full-blown AutoZam AZ1K car. If Grand Seiko isn't Japanese domestic market enough for you, not crazy enough, not rare enough, and not beautifully handmade enough, consider the Divido Deep Blue Urushi Silver Maki E. Even the long-winded name is justified. The Grand Seiko Snowflake has it all. High style, technical ingenuity, and it's still rare enough in this mass-produced world to feel genuinely special. It appeals equally to the stockbroker and the hipster, which is to say, whichever side of Wall Street you happen to occupy. That's a fairy tale ending worthy of Disney, and that is the collector's take.